everybody. I am pleased to be joined with offensive lineman Kevin Dotson. Kevin, thanks for joining me. Just tell fans where you are right now and what you've been up to since the season ended. Uh, really just been training. I'm in Dallas right now, uh, training with Duke Manuel. Uh, somebody I feel comfortable uh, with building up my abilities, you know. Uh, really just been painting, <laughs> painting, working out, sleeping. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All right, you brought up the painting and I did want to get to that. Um, you said that's something that once you got to Pittsburgh and didn't have a lot to do other than to go to work and play football was kind of a hobby you picked up. So take me through how that started and why you're still doing it now. Um, I had started doing it in uh, like middle school, I started like drawing and stuff good. And then it just like, it got cut when I went to a different school. So couldn't do it anymore as much as I did. And now I have all this time, a lot of free time outside of football and stuff. So I just thought I'd, I'd like to be able to make stuff that I can keep and that I can put around my house that I can see off. Did you share with your teammates during the season that that was something you were doing or something you just kept to yourself? No, I, I showed a few of them, showed, showed a few of my paintings and stuff. All right, take me back to your rookie season. I'm sure it feels uh, certainly like a whirlwind, definitely a not normal rookie season. Just overall how you begin to assess it and process what you went through. You know, just uh, the first thing that kind of, you know, the, the initial thing that happened for me was just, you know, the draft process and how much stress it was really putting on me. Um, I kind of noticed once I got drafted that all the stress that I had before in that type of aspect of, am I gonna even gonna make it to the league? Am I, am I good enough to compete and all this other stuff? And once I got to the league and once I started practicing and started playing in games, all this stuff kind of that, that wave of anxiety and, and stress kind of came off of me. And now I can focus on actually becoming better instead of wondering if I belong, because now I've been able to play and know that I do actually belong in this league. Will you go back at any point or have you to watch film, watch games, to kind of you know go through and dissect what you did well and what you didn't do so well? Well, yeah, I, I, I've been doing that since, since I got, we got out, since the season ended, so. It's just something that you have to keep up with. Uh, I feel myself doing drills and stuff now just to, you know, you got to keep yourself constantly thinking about what you're doing until it becomes second nature. Do you go back and watch those videos that you're doing now or do you send them to somebody to get feedback? No, I, I usually just watch them myself. Um, I work with Duke Manaweather and he helps me when we do doing stuff uh, together. But other than that, I'll, I'll watch myself. Going back to exit interviews with Coach Chonlin, the other offensive coaches, what did they tell you about your rookie year? And also, what did they tell you about that year two jump that Coach Chonlin always talks about a lot? My interview was more of like, just telling me, you know, the potential that I have and to not fall into that, that second year slump or get too, you can say too confident, but you don't want to get to the point where you think you are better than you are. Stay grinding, keep your head down, keep your nose grinded to the, you know, all the the things that you hear your entire life, you know, something that, hey, don't don't get too happy, don't get too sad, just stay, stay working, stay level-headed. Uh, and those things that I pride myself on already, so I felt pretty good about it. You mentioned uh, the stress of the draft process, not knowing if you belong, then realizing that you do. Taking that a step further, do you feel like you are going to be a starter in this league? I do. I, I definitely do. I feel like uh, I'm working enough to, to get that spot, and I know if I get the spot that I feel like I can keep that spot for years to come. When you look back at the ebb and flow of your rookie season, an injury in training camp, COVID-19 less than an injury during the season, uh, that's a lot of adversity, but you seem to come out on the right end of it. What motivated you? Who motivated you? And how did you end on the upswing? I say it's a lot of friends and family that, that kept me uplifted during the things that I was going through. Uh, and my dad just instilling those things to be, you know, tough being, being a person that doesn't complain when stuff does go wrong. And, you know, me living by this thing where if I can't do anything about it, then I don't worry about it. But if I can, then I know 
that I can do something about it and I don't worry about it. And it just it really lessens my stress. Adrian Clem, Matt Canada, uh, staying with the Steelers, promoted into new positions. You had one year with them. Uh, what did you learn from those two guys? And also, what do you think they're going to bring to this offense in 2021? I feel like, uh, you know, Clem, he was already pretty much one of our, they were pretty what and what as coaches already, him and Sean. And um, I feel like Clem would bring a lot of technical uh, stuff, you know, since he's been in the uh, in the league before, he can help you on things that he's been through. Um, he helped me all last year uh, with, you know, scheme and, and play calling and stuff like that. So I feel like he'll definitely help us this year. All right, in terms of the run game, obviously a top priority from the top of the organization down. How is that something that you can tackle personally and then collectively as a unit to improve it in this upcoming season? Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be a group thing. We're gonna have to be able to, um, you know, diagnose what we did wrong last year, uh, be able to work on those things, the, the footwork, the mechanics of all the, the, the run blocking um, that we're going through. It's just one of those things where if we all come together, we can know that we can change this for the better. Marquise Pouncey will not be with you guys this year. You got to spend a year with somebody who I'm sure you uh, would say is a locker room leader and energy bringer, as Coach Tomlin likes to say. What's something you learned from him, and what will you miss the most about him? You know, it really was the energy that he brought every day. It really wasn't a day off where he wasn't bringing in energy, competing. He didn't care what, what you were doing. We could be in there playing uh, anything in the locker room, play any type of game. He's trying to win regardless of what it is. And he, he's trying to win and, and he brings that energy, that mental focus. And, you know, if you mess up during a play, he that person that can come over there. Hey, man, let's just let's just move to the next one. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. You know, and we'll be able to we'll miss that. But I, I think we'll be able to um, to push forward. OK, Kevin, thanks. What's up, Steelers Nation? It's James Washington. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Steelers official YouTube channel. Thanks again, and here we go.